Hey everyone, welcome back to a, another YouTube video. I am Cole at Kitchy Flower. Uh, today's video is going to be another top 10 vintage list. Uh, in this edition, you probably could read by the title, is going to be is the Rushton Company. I was gonna grab one, but I don't wanna I don't wanna uh, spoil the the t top 10 list. But yeah, um, if you're not familiar, the Rushton Company uh, is a vintage plush brand uh, started by Mary Rushton uh, back many moons ago. Uh, they are best known for their rubber face plush that really started being made in the 50s. Uh, the first one uh, that really kind of blew up for the company uh, that people really enjoyed. I do believe I've mentioned this in a previous video, but it is the Rushton Tubby Bear. Um, chubby tubby I should say sorry uh, I actually have him in my own personal collection I have him in um, a few various sizes but really fantastic um, I've already shown him in a video so uh, he's not part of this list uh, I tried to pick some other ones uh, that maybe you guys haven't already seen granted there's a few of them in this video that I know you guys have seen but it is my top 10 list I mean if I want it to be a part of it, it's going to. And some of these, yeah, they are. Um, <laughs> we have a common theme today, which is bunny rabbits. I love the Rushton bunny rabbits. But anyways, um, yeah, I did a whole uh, toy history video on the Rushton company over on TikTok, which I will leave that in the bio if you want to go um, hear, you know, the history of the Rushton rubber face plush. Rubber faces were really popular for from the 50s to 70s. So those were really the heyday being made. But close to, you know, 70 years later, I think it's fantastic that these items are still around. Uh, I do a lot of restoration work personally, so I just love fixing up these old guys because a lot of times they are in really bad shape when I find them and uh you know for if I'm personally keeping it for my collection I I'd prefer to see it you know brought back to life uh it really depends you know on some old plush I will restore them uh some I don't uh it really just depends on you know the condition of the plush um, if I'm personally keeping it for my collection, because most likely, I'd say eight out of 10 times, I will, if it's in dire need of it, I will restore a vintage plush if I'm keeping it. But I am a little bit more mindful if, um, if I am reselling it, uh, just because I know some people like, you know, the original shape and what have you. Personally, I don't mind a refurbished piece of vintage, but again, that's just me. Um, I actually do uh, vintage restoration commissions, so if you are interested uh, in getting your vintage plush restored, uh, I do offer services for that. So uh, again, I'll leave my email in the bio so you can get in contact with me if you are interested. Uh, but yeah, I'll do a before and after. Um, maybe at the end of the video so you can see some of my work. But anyways, let's get into the video. Um, this probably will be a rambly kind of video because it's one of the, my favorite things to collect, the old Rushtons and Rubber Face Plush, but specifically, <laughs> but specifically in this video, we are covering the Rushton brand. Um, there are a lot of different variations between, you know, each plush in Rushton. Um, you know, some have opened eyes, some have closed eyes. It's, it is really fantastic being able to see, uh, you know, these plush out in the wild uh, and to be able to bring them home to give them a home either in my home or somebody else's. Uh, a great reference uh, site that I definitely recommend for maybe identifying some old Rushton's. Um, or maybe just wanting to check out all of the different kinds and styles they did, definitely check out, uh, I'm going to leave her blog in the chat, but it is by QKitch. Uh, I actually don't know her actual name. She's on Instagram, but she has a whole, um, you know, dedicated blog to recovering, you know, the archives of the Rushton toy collection, you know. 
She has a great, um, great archive of all of the variations of the bunnies, the bears, um, you know, the Santas. I mean, so, so, so much good knowledge there. So I will definitely be leaving uh, her blog in the, um, in the, the, whatever this is, the bio, I guess, <laughs> the bio, because I have learned so much from her. She is fantastic. Um, and I definitely recommend, uh, I really appreciate, uh, fellow lovers of vintage putting together, um, you know, these archives, which definitely take time and effort of trying to collect all of these photos of all the different variations. I mean, that is hours upon hours and then putting them all together. So check it out. She does have some really great rushed in knowledge and history over there as well. Uh, so I definitely recommend her. So check her out. All right, so I guess let's just get started. So we're gonna start it off big for this first one. Um, I know you guys have actually seen the behind the scenes uh, of me finding this guy, but uh, this is probably my largest uh, Rushton rubber face that I have in my collection. This is the very, very huge uh, artist bunny. So he's pretty fantastic. I actually don't know how tall he is. He's fair, he's quite tall. I mean, this is like me, I'm like 6'1". He's very, very large. Uh, so he's pretty fantastic. This is one where I decided obviously not to restore him. Uh, originally he would have been a little bit more white, um, but he has kind of faded to kind of like a, a beige-ish kind of um, off-white, but I don't really mind it. And I don't know, in this circumstance, I, I don't care. Um, I have, you know, whitened some uh, vintage plush in the past. I actually have one of those uh, coming up later. I can give you a reference point. But yeah, really fantastic. Uh, he's just great as he is, so didn't want to fix him up or anything. So I didn't think he needed it. So he is large and in charge, so he is my first favorite on the list. All right, so for spot number two, uh, ooh, which... Okay, I guess we'll go with, I think this is going to be my, one of my newer, my newer additions. So this one I actually have restored. Uh, so this is a Rushton rubber face little owl. This one does still have his Rushton Star Creations tag made here in Atlanta, Georgia. This guy is pretty spectacular. Um, I do believe I have a full restoration video over on my TikTok, so go check that out. But yeah, he's pretty fantastic. He is a little on the smaller size, which I really appreciate uh, compared to the very, very large bunny. Uh, he is just, I think, really sweet. I don't have any other owls in my own collection, so when I found him, uh, from a fellow Etsy seller, I was just super, super excited and I got him at a great price. So shout out, love him. He's pretty spectacular. All right, so next on the list, I think it's actually, I have two, two of the, these on the list are going to be actually gifts from my parents. So the first one, which really took my breath away when she brought it home. Uh, this is the Rushton Puss in Boots, hands down one of my favorites. I This is one I've partially restored. Um, I've touched up his face paint a little bit, but he is pretty fantastic. And I have, I did make him a new little vest, um, which I thought was pretty cute. He does have his original hat and his boots. Uh, his boots are even, you know, on the bottom marked rushed in. So, sorry if I sound a little bit congested. I think while I was like pulling some of these down off the shelf, uh, I think some dust uh, got to me. But yeah, he's pretty fantastic. My mom found him actually in, uh, I think, Tennessee. So yeah, hands down, one of my favorites. He is just too cool. I think he's my only cat. I have in my collection. So as far as Russians, but yeah, really cute. I did a, again, another 
restoration video on him, I guess I'll be leaving in the bio. So I'm gonna have quite the little playlist for you guys to watch, but he's really fun. So he comes in at number three, which honestly, I feel like he should have come in higher out on the list, but I don't, I just brought a bunch. I'm just showing them random. It's not in really any particular order, I should say. Uh, so next off, well, I guess since I'm showing the gifts from my parents, uh, I guess I'll show this one next. Uh, but this one, uh, I, as you may or may not know, Rushton actually did a bunch of just regular plush, so not necess necessarily the rubber face plush, but this next one is a Rushton little chick. He is absolutely precious. He has a little sleeping cap. Uh, yeah, my dad actually is in the antique uh, business as well. He has a antique store. Uh, as well as a um, estate sale company and like an online auction. Uh, so he's he's pretty cool. Uh, my father actually found him at an estate sale. So he uh, was very kind and picked me, him up for me. But yeah, these are pretty fantastic. He is just like new, still with tag. Uh, I think he actually might be the only one I still have, uh, or the only one I have with the original hang tag. So he's quite the treat. Uh, I love the lashes and the blue eyeshadow and the cute terry cloth vest. Just too good. Too good. So yeah, he's, he sleeps on my, uh, my, uh, nightstand, so... He's, he sits right next to my alarm clock. All right, so this next one, which I believe you guys have already seen uh, before on my channel, if you've been following me for a little bit, uh, I've actually done a full restoration on him. Oops, he just lost his carrot. Uh, this one is, again, one of my hands down favorites. Uh, this is a Rushton pink rabbit. Uh, again, I'm huge on bunny rabbits, so I love the fact that he has his little rubber paws. Uh, I did replace the felt on the bottom of his feet, but he does still have his original vest and bow and carrot. So he is just too good. He is a larger one, but again, size comparison to my other one, he is like quite a bit smaller. And he's actually a pretty large stuffed animal. I mean, him, like, compared to my head, I don't know. I don't know if that's necessarily the best reference point, but he's pretty large and in charge. And I love him because he is pink. And his face paint, I don't think I actually had to do anything to. I mean, his face was just perfect. Uh, really, really great. I actually drove all the way to Tennessee for him. Uh, one of my friends actually saw him at an antique store and sent me a picture. So I drove a good three and a half hours each way for him, but it was a fun time. If you want to go check out that vlog of me going to find him, I will leave that in the bio as well. So there's going to be a lot of links. Okay, and now I'm realizing as I am going down the list of items, most of them were gifts. Um... I think that's probably why they're my favorite, I guess. But yeah, most of these, I guess, have been gifts. I guess a good majority of them, at least. So this next one is actually another gift. Surprise. Uh, this one was actually my birthday gift, I think, last year. Uh, this is a very sweet Rushton little skunk. So my mom actually got this for me for my birthday. Uh, one of my favorites. I love, love, love this guy. He is, of course, larger than the little version of the skunk. Um, he is just terrific in great shape. I mean, the white is just so vibrant and nice. And he does still have his little wire in his tail with his original little bow. At least I think this is a, his original bow. I'm not too sure. But, um... Yeah, let me just retie it real quick. But uh, I think what was really sweet about him is, I guess from his original little owner, uh, somebody wrote flower on his little, his little ribbon, which I think is cute. Which I guess, I think that flower was the little guy in Bambi, right? 
So maybe that was his name, Flower, which I'm going to keep that name. It's a cute one. But yeah, he's a large, he's, I mean, well, I guess this isn't a great size comparison, but compared to my little Chihuahua puppy, he's about this size. So take that for what you will. We'll do another non-rubber face because I do want to highlight some of the non-rubber face Russians because they are really just a solid quality plush. So again, we have a cute little pink poodle. Really fantastic. This one does still have her Rushton star creation tag. And I have cleaned her up a little bit. So she's quite the sweet one. I love the laying the laying pose she's in. She is just too cute, still with her original bow and her ribbon. So really cute on her. Next off, uh, I actually <laughs> have another gift from a friend. Uh, this one is actually from my friend Nate. My vintage is 1976. Uh, Nate actually found this little guy while out shopping and decided to pick him up for me. Uh, one of my favorites again, but cute little Rushton, Rushton little pup. He is so cute. He has been completely restored. So I'll actually leave the video for that in the bio once again. It's actually one of my more popular videos on TikTok, which is really fun. So again, really fun. I did completely restore him. I touched up his paint. I restuffed him and washed him by hand, of course. So, right. So next off, we have a really sweet one. Uh, this is one I haven't really touched or anything. I, I just kind of like him how he is. Uh, so a really popular uh, rubber face plush you can find is the uh, zip or the zippy uh rubber face plush. So there was a little boy version, which is Zip, and there was a little girl version, which I also have, which was Tippy. So really cute. Why I like him so much, I just really like his, uh, his coloring on his pants. Uh, I've had the original, you know, outfit version in my own collection, but it's just not my favorite. I just, you know, I really like this outfit. I love the pants and the pattern on them. And how he kinda has like some bluish to his face. I just, am, I'm really drawn to this one. So ended up keeping him uh, for my own collection because I don't see this one uh, near as much as the other one in the outfit, which is a little bit more common. Um, next off, I will, uh, again, another gift. Uh, this one is actually from my friend Sydney at Sad Girl Dolls. Uh, this was actually a Christmas gift uh, one or two years ago. I can't remember, but absolutely love this little guy. Oh my gosh. And I like the miniature size of him. I do like the little smalls. So he's fantastic in great shape. Just really, really sweet. So fantastic. Thank you, Sydney. I still love him. And then the last one is, again, a, another bunny. Uh, so I <laughs> I just love this one. Uh, I have completely restored her. She, I will say, she was a little bit grimy, so I did decide to clean her up for a video. Um, so she was honestly, like, darker than and more discolored than this guy. She was really, really dingy and kind of, like, if. Um, but I was able to mix up my special concoction and I was able to clean her up. I mean, she looks brand new now. And I did put her in this really cute little, little outfit. Um, it has tiny little, I don't know if you can see them, tiny little kittens on it. So that, that was a cute one to put her in. I absolutely love this one. I just love the face on her. So really, really sweet. I adore this one. All right, you guys, so here's a few honorable mentions. Uh, but actually what's cool about these three, these are actually currently available in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in adopting a Rushton, 
I have a few. I usually always have a few in my in my shop. Uh, I'm actually thinking of uploading another one or two rubber faces as well. So uh, if you're not already following my Etsy shop, go give it a follow. Uh, I do tend to do more of the harder to find toys slash more like higher ticket items. I do a lot of those more on Etsy. I do have a nice little variety of, you know, more affordable items, you know, in the uh, $20 and under range, but I do, um, I do like to pop up some of these harder to find guys. Uh, so a lot of eyes can be on them. So without further ado, um, let's get into some of the Russians I have for grabs. So first off, I'll start with the rubber face I have. Uh, this is Chip. So this is actually the little mini version of Zip uh, that I actually just showed. He does still have his little uh, Russian star creations tag. Funny story, this guy actually came from the same store my mom found uh, the other uh, cat rubber face rushed in. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, I found him in Tennessee. He's pretty spectacular. The miniature size is a little bit more uncommon uh, when it comes to the zip monkeys, but really cute. Does still have his felt ears. So he's up for grabs in the Etsy shop. And then the next one is this very kooky cat. Uh, this one is again, a Rushton Star Creations plush. Uh, really sweet little size, little tail and all. She is missing her tag, but she is Rushton indeed. Um, I have seen the same uh, cat plush with the actual Rushton tag, so. I know without a doubt she is. And she isn't, you can always tell with the Rushtons because they are a higher quality plush. Um, a lot of times the other plush from the same decade, you find them and they're like really, really trashed. Um, whereas, you know, some of these Rushtons, they are made with really high quality fabrics, fibers, and what have you. So they do um, last, uh, you know, 70, uh, 50 to 70 years of uh, for sure. So really cute. He's available up in the Etsy shop. And I think this one oh, is really just fantastic. I'm surprised this one hasn't already found a home. So this is the cute little sleeping bunny uh, in really, really great shape. This one is just too sweet. Um, has his little felt tongue, his little ribbon and all. Oh, I love the sleeping little guys. So he is the third Rushton that is up for grabs in my Etsy shop. So go check those out. Uh, I'll be posting some more, I'm sure, in the upcoming future. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, I'm Cole at Kitchy Flower. So go ahead, give me a follow if you aren't following me already. Of course, uh, I am here on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, where I do a lot of my restorations. And then, of course, um, Etsy and whatnot. So, until the next one, you guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, Blythe says farewell. Uh, and, yeah, bye, everyone.